Hello, I'm Francesca Young and this is Diane Sinnott from Tenants Auctioneers and we're here to tell you about the Harlequin sale which will take place on Saturday the 7th of October. Um, the sale comprises the collections of the late Michael Raw of Sedba School. Miss Raw was a much loved history teacher at Sedba School and he also played for the Harlequins rugby team which we think is what has inspired this vibrant collection of items. Um, it's such an international sale, um, there's examples of American, Canadian, African, all sorts of different artists. Um, there's two works by Stephen Westfall, who's an abstract American artist, very much interested in geometry and influenced by Le Corbusier as well, and you can see the, the vibrant colours here. Um, there's also this beautiful Danish harlequin by Utzon Frank, um, a Danish artist. Um, it's really beautiful, very much in the classical style. Um, and then another vibrant item is this John Buck um, called Dancing to Time and he's very much inspired by poetry. This particular piece was influenced by the war poet Siegfried Sassoon. Michael Rohr was very interested in the still movement from Holland um, which was going from 1919 to 1931. All of the furniture in the collection has colour, um, mostly the three primary colours of red, blue and yellow, but also the primary values which are the grey, the white and the black. And you can see that particularly in the cabinet behind me. Most of his collection was purchased from galleries, particularly the paintings and the sculpture. And the furniture was purchased mostly from the manufacturer themselves. So from Cassina in Italy, um, from Tetra in Germany. Um, so everything came directly from source. Here we have four works in the sale by John Maltby. Um, John Maltby started his life off as an artist and sculptor and then read a book by Bernard Leach, um, a potter's book. He was so inspired and Bernard Leach convinced him to go and do an apprenticeship with his son David Leach, which he did. Um, he then set up his own pottery in um, Devon. John Maltby um, did traditional Anglo-English pots and painted techniques. And then later on in his life, he had a heart operation in 1996 and started working with clay that he'd work at the kitchen table. So small bits and pieces like angels or figurative pieces that we have here. We understand that Mr. Raw spent childhood in Africa as his parents were scientists and there's a lot of African paintings and objects in the sale. Um, some in particular, for example, um, this by Wosin Kosrov, who's an Ethiopian artist. Um, it's inspired by Ethiopian scripture and by jazz music and you can see that throughout. Um, another one is Abelard Glover from Ghana and um, he is very much inspired by the vibrancy of African life, the colour and thick impasto. Um, other works in the collection not necessarily by African artists but very much inspired by Africa for example is the Rebecca Campbell. Um, she was inspired by Indian miniatures and Persian carpet designs and things. Um, the three of those in the collection. This one in particular of the elephants is very striking and she uses very vibrant colours. We also have the Ian Nutting Gorilla here. Um, there's two examples of this in the sale and other examples by the artist. Um, he was a con he's a conservationist, very interested in conservation um, from a young age. He was an apprentice to Anthony Gormley, the sculptor. He uses recycled, welded steel and metals to create these wonderful animal designs. We have a number of bronzes in the sale and sculptures. This is one by Anthony Theakston, one of my favourite um, ceramicists. Um, he started life off um, being a ceramicist for four years, then teaching um, pottery as well before making the transition and journey between being a ceramicist and a bronze artist, which he now concentrates on in his current studio. This bronze is blue patinated, a kingfisher. It's signed and numbered, and he normally does small editions. 
Um, this was a real treat to find, as I didn't see it when we went on the original visit to the house. Um, it's by Brianna Casey, who's one of my favourite artists. Um, Brianna Casey, he spent a lot of time in Cornwall and was very much influenced by the St Ives artists, especially Alfred Wallace. Um, he's just very known for his very simple, naive style, and I just think it's really lovely.